Hello and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, we're just checking in on Birchador here. He's getting a meal. Um, I think he's a little attached to his armor. What do you guys think? He even eats imaginary dinners in it. So I don't know what they're talking about, but it must be entertaining as hell. This guy seems really excited about it. Getting a little R&R. &R. He deserves it. All right, let's go to Mission Control. We just got done, last time we got done with a really great uh, UFO mission. We got a whole bunch of people that are now psionic. Um, we're waiting 10 more days for some more psionic testing. In the meantime, we just got to wait for the hyperwave relay to come online. And from there, we'll see what we do then. But um, council reports coming up. Uh, we got more weapons to buy, but uh, let's keep moving. Oh, well, here we go. Wait. What did you do? Shut it down. I was playing Angry Birds and then... This could be what we've been waiting for. Download more porn. Faster. There's too much porn. Since when do we not trust you? We do everything you want. What's it doing now? It's... It's what? buffering. Sir, new data is inbound from the hyperwave uplink. Yay! This gamble seems to have paid off. But we've endangered the lives of everyone involved to satisfy the doctor's curiosity. The risk was worth the reward. If we hadn't pushed on, there's no way we would have gotten this information. Okay, well. Uh, are we, our hyperwave relay is working, and we have found a Overseer class UFO. Whatever that is. Well, scramble the, the demon. Go get it. This is probably fairly important. We're in pursuit. Yeah, I got plasma weapons too, buddy. He didn't stand a chance. Actually, he would have. I almost lost that one. Oh, wow. Look at all this. So we can actually see all the information. So... Um, there's, it's got a crew of 13, we've detected ethereals, ethereals, oh my goodness, muton elites, sectopods, and drones. Well, that's going to be a pretty tough fight, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Well, send in the Sky Ranger. Now, we have people away, um, getting tested, specifically Tori and a few squaddies. Um, if I'm going to be going up against ethereals... I'm gonna need some um, some heavy hitters, I think. Yeah, but I don't think I want to take all the the colonels. I'm gonna take Venera just because um, Tori is out. So let's get her geared up, get the Titan armor. Um, we need to get you a better pistol. Who has the? Hold on. You guys. Oh, you still have your armor on. Alright, I need to go back to the briefing. Go to the barracks. View soldiers. Here's wishing for an unequip all button. Load out. Uh, armor. Thing. Med kit. Okay. Looking forward to using her major abilities. That would be awesome if she was a... Uh, she was psionic. That would be killer. scope too, I guess. Take it all off. Yeah, he's in yellow and purple. I think he deserves it, being, seeing as how often he panics. I'm not letting that go, buddy. Until you stop panicking, I'm gonna make fun of you every chance I get. Maybe you'll learn. Alright, um... do do. Alright, well, that's good enough. Back to Mission Control, UFO Crash Site, send the Sky Ranger. Woo! Okay. 
So, she has Mind Fray. Um, we'll probably be... We're going to try and use that often. Her will is not very high. I'm not going to lie. So, and that's only that's because she's only a squatty. So she just doesn't have the same amount of willpower that another troop might have. Um, I'm not going to give... I only have one plasma pistol, I guess. Could give her scope. Think... Oh, no, I need to give her a med kit. But she doesn't have the super heal yet, but... That's really what her job's going to be, and since Tori's not around, it's better to have a med kit than no med kit. Um, let's see. Do I want to keep her with that gun? Yeah, I think I do. It's very accurate, and she's going to need accuracy. I'm going to take... Let's see. I want to continue to use Bertrador. But I don't need three assaults. So... What are my other options? I want to use... I do want to use Ash because I want to get his... Uh, I want to continue to level up his psionic abilities. Pretty sure we're going to be using him on the final mission. We will give him... You know, who has the... All the little ways of rifles. Alright, well we're going to not use uh, Giver here. You, sir, are going to get that stuff. Okay. We'll, we'll hold on to you. Alright, load out. We'll give him... I'm gonna give him... Do I want to give him ghost armor or titan armor? I think I'll give him titan. And... Plasma rifle. And that's fine. Okay. Um, let's see. Who's gonna get the plasma pistol? That's a good question. I guess it'll go... I think I'm going to give it to Birchador, actually, because the alloy cannon is very close range. So if I get caught with him not in close range situation, I will have a pistol. Better to go on Overwatch with a pistol, I think. Unless you're you're really close up. Um, all right, and then we got room for one more. So who can we take? Uh, do do. I guess we'll take one of these squatties. I don't like I don't like the idea of taking a bunch of squatties, but I do have I mean I've got two I got three primary killers here. So that those are you know, crazy snipers. I've got my one of my best assaults. I've got Birchador who's really working out, so I think we're fine. And I think I'll take I don't want three snipers. Uh, I guess I'll take... I guess I'll take another assault. Give her the ghost armor. And I'll give her a scatter laser. Nah, laser rifle. And... Hmm, I don't know about that, actually. I don't know about another three assaults. Not confident. Not confident. Back it up, back it up. Who should we take? I have I have supports and I have snipers. I could take another support. That'll be fine. Rosalia? You have another lady. It just so happens that all my ladies are supports. Just how it worked out. Running out of good weapons, though. Yeah. Would like to build another plasma rifle soon. And I guess I'll give her a grenade. And I'll give Venera the med kit. I'm going to be trying to use her mind fray as much as possible. Although it hit. Admittedly, it's not going to work all that well against sectopods, but at all against sectopods. UFO crash site. This is going to be crazy. I have a feeling. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. That's cool, though, that now we know what we're going up against at every mission. I we must be coming up on the end game soon. I mean, uh, if we're encountering encountering ethereals. 
I suppose we should try and capture it. They've been protecting this ship with their most advanced technology. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. Indeed they're not. Okay. Especially with sectopods. Alright. Well, let's keep the squad together. Right away, I think I'm going to boost Jarek up. Let's get let's get my snipers in the air and uh, let's get them sight. I could actually throw out a battle scanner this turn. You go ahead and fly as well. Yeah, 12 turns. That's gonna be. I think I don't think I've, I have had a mission that's lasted 12 turns. Eh, I might have. That base invasion went on a, quite a while. And we'll put him right here. Let's get farther back and we have enough action to put out a battle scanner let's go ahead and see what's over there Scanning. <laughs> apparently nothing <laughs> our scanner did not seem to work either that or we lost it around a corner or something Can I throw the thing with the stuff? Scanner's up and running. Okay, let's see. Nothing that way. Venera. Now, she's a bit more fragile. She doesn't have as much health. Okay. Right, so the scanner is on the other side, but I'm not over there. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's working, but it's not working the way I want it to, that's for sure. Get to high cover. Let's uh, kind of go up this way. It's as good a place to start as any. And boop -a -doop -a -doo. doesn't look like we're in danger. Well, we could uh, counter stuff that way, but go ahead and rush to this. It's not going to have good visibility over there. I do like having a wall in front of me, but I can't see much. And go ahead and do it. There's I don't see anything, so let's get them get the get the, the frontline soldiers forward. Um I'd like to watch this direction. He's he's the alloy cannon man, and this is my other support. She does not have a lot. She doesn't even have psionics, so she's kind of... The only thing she really does have is smoke and a grenade, so... Her usefulness is slightly less, but... I don't think we've tested her. I mean, she could be psionic. Who knows? You go ahead and go on Overwatch. And you too. And go on Overwatch with your pistol. And guys in the air, you can see everything. And I hear a sectopod marching, but I didn't see which direction it was in. Alright. <laughs> guys stay up there. Let's get forward before their fuel runs out. This tree will do. Not seeing the UFO yet. Venera, let's get you someplace relatively safe. There's lots of, looks like there's some, lots of good kind of high cover around if you know where to stand. Keep her close. I don't, I mean, he's kind of far this way. I don't want to move him too far ahead without support, but this should be okay. Oh, we found him. Oh, dear. At least he's behind high cover. He's not being flanked or anything. 
And look at what we have. Oh, we can't see him? <laughs> we could a second ago. Well, no matter. Go ahead and take out this uh, pesky little drone. Actually, do it with the other guy, because he needs kills. So he can get a look. He can get more promotions. Yay! One less drone. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah, we know they're there. Um... I could move him back. I do want the sectopod to come to me. He's gonna have to move up because if I can't see him, then then he can't see me. So maybe I'll just tunker him down. That uh, and we'll put Jarek on Overwatch when he pops his head out. Ash, you can do the same. Okay, here he comes. What you doing, buddy? Okay, there's a drone. Oh, trying to peg the squatty from downtown. There, I see it. Okay, well, this is what we have Mr. Jarek for. Jarek, give me a headshot. 65%, not bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, not a crit, but... Yeah, but give me that double tap. Oh, did I attack the drone? I did. Why didn't you go back to the guy I was fighting? Well, no matter. Still got another one with him. Come on, get the crit. Yeah! Look at that. Oh. It's prime for capture. Ho, ho, ho. I could shoot him. Plasma does up to four damage. So, I mean, that could kill him. I'm behind high cover. I might as well. And I missed. Oh, missed the target. Ah, Bert. Bert, Bert, Bert. Now, she is in low cover, which means that um, she's in danger. And that thing, she has 15 health, but I'm pretty sure he could... If he gets a lucky crit, he could still pop her off, so. She, actually, he can't see her yet, because if he could, if he could, I'd be able to see. He's probably going to go after Bert. Bert's behind high cover, which is really the best I can do for him. I could move her forward and attack. I could get over here, but I couldn't go on Overwatch. Let's go ahead and throw a smoke grenade on Bertrador, since that's most likely who he's going to attack. And hopefully give him some more mischance. Venera, you just kind of hang back here for a bit, please. Could move Ash up and finish the job, but I'd have to... Eh, there's no cover I can get to. I'd have to run and gun, and eh. Don't need to. We'll stay here. Yeah. He's oh, what is he doing? <laughs> He's got rockets, apparently. Well, I'm glad I didn't move anyone in. And I see more drones. Oh, there's another sectopod. Oh, good lord. Nice. Miss. Okay. Well, at least we see it. Positive enemy contacts. Oh, wow. <laughs> this thing, this, this map is getting a little crazy. Good thing I brought my snipers. Jeez. Okay, um... Go ahead and finish this guy off, please. Appreciate it. Now, is there anywhere we can get... I mean, we still got Muton Elites to deal with, of course, but... Jarek cannot see the other sectopod, but go ahead and kill the drone. Last thing we need is more nonsense that way. Okay, Bert's, Bert took a little damage from the sectopod's missile volley, whatever that thing was. Um, but 
I really can't do any better than that cover. I mean, that cover can't be destroyed. He's in mist. I should just keep him there. Overwatch. I could hunker him down, but that's not going to defend me against a missile volley. And it only does six damage. I can, he eh, I can get a heal on him. I can heal six. Hopefully he won't take any more than that. Go ahead and keep overwatching. I'd rather deal with these sectopods from afar. They can't be flanked anyway. You guys all just... Actually, Ash, you gotta get back here so you don't get flanked. For, just in case. That would really stink if you got flanked. Come on in, buddy. Okay, Bird's gonna put away that... No, he's not. <laughs> Come on, Bird, I gave you a pistol. Your job is decoy. Come on, rookie. Get it. Ah! This is why you're a squatty. Damn it. And you will stay there. That's alright. It's just a drone. Okay, what happened? Is he... He's still in high cover. That's good. That's good. Let's see if the squatty can't take care of this thing. Only 60%. Not great, but... Nope. Nope. Let's see. Perchador, can you... Can you do it? Only two damage. Well, guess I'm gonna do it with my snipers again. Go ahead, lock you do it, and I'll put Jarek on Overwatch. No longer a threat. These guys are just like annoying hornets just hanging up here. Buzz -a -buzz -a -buzz. Yeah, I'd I i i if these were mutant elites I'd be trying to flank them and move around and whatever, but pff, whatever. <laughs> you guys, whatever. You guys, you you do your thing. I'm good. I'm totally good. If Bert uh, takes another shot, I'll have to move him, but... He has 13 health. Hmm. Yeah, that sectopod is going to be a jerk about it, isn't he? I just really need to get sight. Is really all I need to do. Could probably, if I get there, I could probably see him. There is that rock in the way. It might, it might hurt his chances. Hmm. Good running gun to the rock, and then I'd really, I'd have, um, I'd have three shots on the sectopod from my snipers. He does have lightning reflexes, right? Yes. The other problem is we we run the risk of... Yeah, the UFO is right there. We run the risk of activating mutant elites, which we know are here. I think it's just better to stay on Overwatch, to be honest. I feel, Commander. You go ahead as well. I'm going to have to reload with these guys fairly sh soon. <clears throat> Can't be too careful when dealing with these guys. Oh, wow. Did he just... Uh... Oh. He did two volleys on me. So he doesn't even need to see me, apparently. Okay, Birchador, it's time for you to run. Run! Run like the wind. Those ro those those rockets blow. <laughs> I don't like those at all. So he just took 18 damage from that thing. So he's uh, he's running a bit low. He has the ghost armor, doesn't he? I should have been ghosting up. That's what I forgot to do. Forgot about ghost armor. Well, now I'm completely out of range, so he has to move up. He knows I'm here, he just, he has to get here, so. But I don't have the same vision I had. Well, that's what squaddies are for, right? Still don't see. I wonder how far these, uh, 
I really wonder how far these stupid thing, um, sectopods can see. Oh, wow. They're not even up there, are they? I guess he moved back. Is there a third one? Jeez. Wouldn't that be something? We're in a standoff of sorts. Reloaded. Okay, Venera, get back to your cover. And don't be grouped up. And I might have to move Bert back so that there's no way he can get hurt anymore. There's really no safe place I can get around. Well, he's got bait. He's got some tasty bait. Sorry, sorry, whatever your name was. But you are now tasty bait. Are they moving over there? Come on, where are you? Damn. Keep moving forward. Where did he go? <laughs> he took off, didn't he? Uh, he's going to make me hunt him. Stupid thing. Alright, well, I'd better get these guys down then. Because I can't keep them up there indefinitely. So much for that strategy. Could, uh... Looks like I can get them behind those rocks there. Get them down here. Just do it back far enough. Rockets down. Deck. Yeah, might need to try and get a battle scanner in there. I should have been using Birchador's ghost armor. Although I don't even know, I mean, can, does that even fool a sectopod? I can't imagine it would. And now I'm really afraid of using him more. If he gets, he could, he one shot of any really, of any weapon really is going to do him in. So the answer is no. So we need to get some people to a better spot here. Let's start advancing. And now I've no longer got snipers on Overwatch, so I might want to just wait for a turn. You just hunker down. Yeah, I want to get possibly to this rock here. That tree is pretty good, although it's pretty forward. Behind this rock would be good. Yeah, there's no, like... No, I could go behind this tree all the way back here. It's just going to take me a turn or two to get there. If I'm going to do that, I should start now. Go. Jarek, get there. I'll put Jarek behind this rock to start. Don't know if that'll give him sight at all, but... And the aliens are not advancing. Because they're jerks. And this, this squad is about to poop herself. I know I would be. Could get him there to watch the flank. Let's wait until my snipers are in place. Yeah. Remember, they can get anywhere and have, or he can get anywhere and have high cover because of his ability, low profile, so. And he's not going to be able to shoot this turn. I could get him. Yeah, that might be too far that way. Alright, he should have visibility, at least up here. These rocks might be a problem, though. And you, sir, go ahead and get here. Okay. 
everyone hang out for a turn, and then I'll move move the guys up. Or stay back. You're out of commission. Take a breather. And just hunker down, I guess. And overwatch. And hunker down. She doesn't, she really doesn't have visibility over that ridge, so. That log is probably blocking her path. Okay, he's got, there it is. Okay. And he can't see. And neither can he. Oh, this is not good. Alright, well, time to raise them up then. Now, who is in low cover? Nobody. And the sectopod does not see this guy, but he's got full health. I am not risking anyone if I can help it. Toggle flight. Actually, maybe he has 10 fuel left. Maybe it doesn't use fuel when he, um, when he, they just uh, hover. That would be excellent. Yeah, use fuel there, but um, maybe it doesn't when they're just idling. If that's the case, screw it. Just stay up there. Maybe we just learned something. Okay. I might just, uh, let's see. Ash is really the only one he can see, so. <clears throat> so, and with him, I can't really do anything else. So. Let's need to go, just them. Overwatch with you. Okay, end turn. Oh, we hit him. Oh, no. Don't hit him again. Their accuracy must be ridiculously high. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Guys, go to work. Give me, a, give me a critical hit. Come on. Nice. Good job. These sectopides are smarter than I give them credit for. That's for sure. Yeah, Jarek's got it. Okay, that's right. wish that Ash hadn't taken that hit, though. That was a big hit. He still has 12 health, but still, that was a big hit. And we got who knows what else in this place. Eesh, okay. This is going to be a difficult mission. I have a feeling. Okay. Alright, now he has visibility over that entrance. And we're not seeing anything yet. So far, all we've seen is a, a ton of drones and two sectopods. This place looks pretty heavily destroyed, though. Okay, where can we get her? Can get her to that. But she has to dash. But if I'm going to dash, I'm going to dash to high cover. That might activate things. And I'm not really ready to do that yet. Let's get her here. This could be a mistake. Alright, nothing yet. You can't see all that far in. Feel a bit handicapped not having a uh, Birchador and having all these squaddies. Alright. Yeah, we know you're in there. Alright. He's not using fuel while he's hovering, so you just stay there. Yeah, Navarro and, and, and Venera now have the most health. Okay. 
get up there. Enemy okay. We see some Mutant Elites. Or do we still? No. We lost visibility. What the hell was that? That, my dear, was a Mutant Elite. And I'm worried about her getting flanked. Her as well. Okay, so I think I might pull her back and throw a smoke grenade on Navarro. Away. <clears throat> they haven't, I don't believe they've seen anyone else yet, so. And Overwatch, gentlemen, just in case. Okay. Fingers crossed. Don't kill anybody. There we go. Come on, get him, lock, get him. Yeah. Well, oh, someone got him. <laughs> Probably, probably Jarek, since Locke doesn't have opportunists. Opportunist. All right, so one down. Not flanking me. Oh yeah, he is. But I'm in mist. Oh no. Oh, she's down. Crap. Who's panicking? Ash is panicking. Oh, good lord, we're in trouble. <laughs> Dude, if you're panicking. Well, you already, you already watched. Bert. You already took a hit to the face, so that's probably why you're a little weakened. All right. Um, I need vision. I have it. I can get a mind fray on this guy. Sixty-three percent. What's her chance to hit? Is only ten. Mind fray is sixty-three. Yeah, see if you can weaken him. Why not? She's behind high cover. Mind Frey failed. All right, well, you know. You chill out, bro. Fifty-four. Might as well. Miss. And Jarek. Do me a favor and put some damage on this guy. That's good. And get one more on him. Aw, oh, missed. Okay. He doesn't have a lot of targets to go after, except Venera. And he's retreating. Darn it. It's gonna make me chase him. I hate it when they make me chase them. Go ahead and stick in Overwatch. You too. Really don't have any good cover to get to, and, uh... I only saw two of those Muton Elites, but, um... I mean, there most assuredly could be more. And, yeah. This could not end well. Nah, I'm not, not running up there at all. That's flank. That's guaranteed flank if I do that. I'm not going up there. They've already gone, so I don't want to move her up at all. Go ahead and hunker down. Okay, Ash, we need to get you in a better position. Definitely. I need you, bro. Stay cool. Stay cool. Poor Navarro. We barely knew her. Uh, where to get him? I mean, I could go there, but I have no visibility inside the UFO, and then there, there's more. I am totally boned. And I'm not moving there, because that's obviously a good flanking spot for them. 
Eh, go on Overwatch. Maybe, uh... Maybe they'll come back around. I hear him. There he is. Yes! Crossfire! Alright, that was... That was both of them. I did not notice any others. So... <clears throat> I'd like to get her somewhere that she'll have vision. Those were just overwatches on my snipers, so they still have shots, although they do need to reload. This is true. If I go there, I'm fine this way, but I could easily get flanked from here, and I don't like that idea at all. Don't really have any high cover to get to. I guess I'll go here, and hopefully not encounter anymore. Man, they must have crit her easily. I mean, she had 20... Eh, no, not 20. She had about 15 health. So yeah, they got right through her Titan armor. That is discouraging, to say the least. Okay, could get there. But again, I have to dash. I'd rather get somewhere where I don't have to dash. And his, uh, his psionic abilities are going to be weakened now because clearly he's taken a will penalty. I think I'm going to need, I'm going to need to use Bertrador. I don't think I'm going to get around it. I just hope he, hope, uh, I can continue to play a little bit smarter. Stay on Overwatch, guys. Stay on Overwatch. Uh, I heard something sounded like a berserker. If it's a berserker, I probably I would probably just activate him and run so that the snipers had good shots. That I think would be the best option. I'm gonna have to use Bert's ghost armor. This ship is different. It's laid out different. It's got a big thing in the middle of it. Most That's probably where the ethereals are hanging out. I have no idea how many there are. I hope there's not many. Stick to Overwatch. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is a little frightening with people taking so much damage. I'm uh, a little worried here. I can get there and I can either go on an overwatch or something. If the aliens have reserved this cloaking technology okay. specifically to hide this ship, we can only assume it is carrying something extremely valuable. Or very dangerous. Right, well, I don't see anything. I was definitely hearing stuff. I'm going to reload with him. I'm going to overwatch with him. Hearing stuff from the back. And that way. That looked like it was from the middle, so probably in here. And this looked like it was something coming out that way. And if it's in the middle, more than likely, I'm going to have to run in there to activate it. So, let us stick together like two bullets in a mag, as Claptrap would say, or two midgets in a fat guy's ribcage. If I go this way, there's not a ton of cover, which I don't like. There's some. Actually, if I can, I might take, oh, uh, take Veneria inside. Uh, I really need, do need 
birch door here. I really hope you make it through this, Bert. I really do. Okay, you can go on Overwatch while you reload. Locked and loaded. Alright. Problem is that unless I lure them around the side, my snipers cannot help. So, that's something to keep in mind. Alternatively, I could move my snipers up with me. That sounds like it's coming from the middle of the ship, too, just like the other one was. gonna kind of move them over just to make sure that they have s try and get them a sight line around the uh, yeah they've only used four of their fuel try and get them a sight line around the side of the UFO as well should do the trick okay for her stay on overwatch for now Okay, I can get. I have. I do have options. I want to move them up together, though. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to move. I'm going to use Bert to uh, ghost around. Yeah, we're seeing stuff. They they could be right on the other side of this wall. I'm going to use Bert to kind of ghost here. So he'll have. He should have. Oh, I might have him. If I do here, I can get a shot. If I don't see anything, it'll be a waste. But that's okay. Oh, he doesn't have the ghost armor. Didn't I have someone with ghost armor? Oh, the rook, the squatty had it. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, then. Or was it Venera? No, she didn't have it. Did Ash have it? Nope. <laughs> the squatty had it. Oh, well. <laughs> Scrap that idea. All right, well, at least I got high cover in different places, so. Enemy okay, there they are. Both. Can I mind frame? I can. It would do. It would do five damage and weaken him. Something to consider. I could probably do that with Venera actually, and yeah, she can actually see from here. It's not a good shot. It's 63. Better than her. Uh, she's in. Oh, hold on. She is in low cover. I'd better get her somewhere safer. Good thing I noticed that. Get over here. Probably she can still see. Good. Now hitting with that would be excellent because that would weaken. Yeah. Okay. So now all his uh, his uh, attributes should be lowered. Can Bert see? Bert can see. a 28% chance to hit. Now if I go there, I could give him a rapid fire to the face with an alloy cannon. Um, I'd still have high cover from the other alien. But if you know, if Bert takes a hit from that plasma cannon, he's dead. He could also alien grenade me and hit both Ash and Bert, which wouldn't kill either of them, but they're both already so weak. Um, the following turn might be even worse. I could run him around and flank. But I wouldn't have cover. Well, I would have cover if I go there. And eh, it's crap cover, though. I would if I go there. But I don't know. If I wouldn't have vision on him. And I probably. I might not have vision on the other guy either, depending on. Eh, this should be open. Ugh, man. Okay. What to do? Ash still has an action. He could rapid fire. Oh, it's such a crappy chance to hit. 
I really need a good flank. But I don't have one that will protect myself. If I go there, I should be flanking him as well. He'll be flanking me, but I'll be flanking him. Alright, now this Mind Fray has a 100% chance to hit. And that weakens their will, their aim, and their mobility. Another thing to keep in mind. Oh, well actually, Jarek does have a shot. Might as well. I have two shots. Yes, okay. Well, good. Now this frees me up quite, quite much. Good thing. Good thing for those guys. Bless them. Okay, I can run and gun. I can run and gun here. Alternatively, I could pull back and make him come to me. I could run and gun, go on overwatch around this corner, and make him expose himself. Well, no, he wouldn't have to expose himself. He'd just have to get here, because it's one of those types of walls. All right. Hmm, man, this is tough. Tough, tough, tough. Could get him back here. That might be the best option. He's too. E it's too easy for him to get flanked there, so I really don't want to leave him like that. And I might move Bert back one so that the alien can't see him. And I'm gonna move Locke over to where Jarek is. Or close to it, rather. Oh, <laughs> they're they're behind me. Oh, he ran. Okay, he ran into the ship further instead of coming out to get me. All right, all right. Okay. I don't see any others. Where is Venera? Has used her thing, but she doesn't have sight anyway. I'm getting flanked. They don't have shots. Aliens are crafty. Now I have an alloy cannon. And uh, I think it's time I used it. No guts, no glory. He's not on Overwatch or anything. Okay, give me the double tap. 13, get him. Yeah, good job, Birchador. Whew. Wow, that alloy cannon packs a punch, doesn't it? Okay. Move her up. Just hope there's no more within range. Hopefully that was the same one that was over there. Um, <laughs> I really don't know. Going Overwatch, as you can see. I'm going to need these guys to assault the inside of the UFO. So when I'm ready, I'll bring them up. I need their firepower. Who knows what's going to be in there? All right, I didn't hear a thing. So let's see. Two sectopods. Um, four Muton Elites and all their accompanying drones plus whatever's in here. I think uh, that's a good amount. I think that's enough. They couldn't have too much more than that. I don't care how important this thing is. There's no room. 
So I'm banking a lot on that. Whatever, whatever we breach, whatever we uh, encounter inside that breach, it has got to die fast. If it gets more than a turn on us, if it even gets one turn on us, someone might get killed. So we got to make sure that we have all our ducks in a row. Who says that? I guess I say it. <laughs> Shoo. Man, those those sniper rifles, they pay for themselves, don't they? Jeez. I don't I don't even think Locke has gotten a uh I don't think he's gotten a promotion out of this yet. I'm pretty sure he deserves one. He's killed at least like two aliens on his own. Veneer doesn't have a she does not have a promotion yet. Again, she deserves one, but she might get one. So that mind fray could come in handy. It's just um I feel like I'm a bit handicapped um, having uh, fewer soldiers. I feel like I feel like I'm missing so many, even though I only lost really one. Okay, that sounds like it's coming from the other side of this wall. So whatever it is, it's probably it's either over here or it's in here. Either way, we're keeping the squad together. This has been this has been a tough mission. I have to say, this has been one of the tougher missions I've had to do in a while. I mean, I'm doing all right, but um, those sectopods they can really drain your resources. They really they can really um, chop you off at the knees if you're not careful, as we saw. And those mutant elites, I mean, they're they're the ones that killed that squatty, not the sectopod. Perhaps because I over underestimated them. Listen to me getting all serious. Alright, well there's the door. I still don't see anything. And this was the door that the the Muton Elite was in. Repositioning. There's always a lot of this at the end of a UFO mission, you know? There's a lot of just getting troops in the right spots. Um, maybe, I, I mean, I've considered for these videos kind of editing this out, but I feel that um, if I did that, people would be like, oh, but how, you know, what happened? Or, or people might want to see how I get through a UFO without getting murdered. <laughs> Admittedly, it doesn't happen all that often, but... I should not have moved in there, because that was the end of his movement. I should have saved it for an overwatch. That was me talking when I should have been thinking. I gotta learn to do commentary and play at the same time. I'm getting better. Hopefully. I don't joke around as much when I'm playing, just because, uh... My all my brain power is going towards winning the mission and not making witty jabs. I'm not Spider Man, I can't multitask. Alright, she has an action. Let's go ahead and get there. Still nothing. Stay on Overwatch. I'm gonna just peek around this corner, but if there I'm not gonna go all the way around it because I don't think that is necessary.
everyone everyone's will is going to be pretty weak. And if we're encountering ethereals, they were they were the ones from the original game that were just nasty with their mind control. Like sectoids could do it too, but um, the ethereals were really the the jerks. Yeah, come on, get up here, guys. I think um, what I'll do is I'll put. Um, I'm going to put my snipers kind of back here so that they'll have vision into the room. Um, the room had, it looked, I mean, I can see the outlines. I mean, that that might be high cover, so I might not even be able to see that far in. I might need to throw a grenade or two. I'm pretty sure someone had a grenade, right? Ash does. All right, well, I'll probably need to throw that at some point just to open up a sight line. And... Now, Birchador has the Arc Thrower. We will keep that in mind. I don't think I'm going to prioritize um, stunning a, an Ethereal, but I will if I get the opportunity. Um, uh, there's really no high cover. Actually, I could put the snipers back here. Or one of them. I'm going to put Venera back here. But then if I need to get her in, she's not going to be able to go very far she could get yeah I can already tell this is high cover so if there's stuff in here they're gonna have plenty of places to hide well actually it's only high cover on this side so actually that's good for me eh. it's I mean it still blocks my shots but it does make it give me a good place to run in from and I mean most certainly there's gonna be an ethereal in there but yeah, she doesn't have sprinter yet either She's just not going to be able to get very far. I think I'm just going to put her right around the corner. And she'll she'll follow in. She'll She has her hand on Ash's back, and she's going to follow him right in there. Lock, Lock or Alpha, as he's known. No one calls him that. <laughs> just like no one calls Jarek Walker. Walker's kind of a, a dumb name, I have to say. It evokes Walker, Texas Ranger, and that's about it. You can go ahead and reload. Who knows if we'll need it or not, but... Yeah, they're in there. We're coming at you, buddy. Just getting people in position. Locke Lock will put back here, because he doesn't have low profile, so you go ahead and get behind the high cover. And Jarek will get behind this low cover, and I'll put him on this side. If I can get, if I can destroy some cover in there, get a grenade like right there, that would, um, that would open up a sightline. So you should be able to see at that point. Anyway, while we all have the chance, he's good. He's good. He's good. Okay. Next turn, we're going in. Oh man. You ever get that uh, funny feeling in the pit of your stomach, like you know, this uh, this isn't gonna go well. <laughs> I mean, I have faith in my troops, but oh my god, do have a lot of firepower though. Two assaults and two snipers. Okay, going in. Oh, two Muton elites, and there's the ethereal. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. Now, this is unlike anything else we've previously identified. I have, um, let's see, what can Jarek do? He can see, he can see. I recommend the troops exercise extreme caution, Commander. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is is pulling back and making the Muton Elites come to me. Like getting around, getting my troops around these corners, and then when they come out I can flank them. The problem is my snipers, I mean they're in high cover, but, um, yeesh. And I think I'm supposed to steal that thing, so I don't want to destroy it. Well, 
he has vision on two, so 44 and 24. She's not good shots at all. But this is my this is my lower level guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can't do some damage on them. 44%. Oh, is he gonna put one away? Oh, Locke, you're my new hero. You've earned you definitely earned your promotion motion. Okay, and he can see one as well. If I can put both of these guys away, that would be huge. Oh, but he's taking cover behind the thing if I miss. Oh. <laughs> that is so retardedly risky. Don't miss. Whatever that thing is. I might not be able to destroy it. At least do some damage to him. Nope. Did I blow a hole out the back? I did. <laughs> that would be so cool if I could, um... Yeah, that would be super duper cool if I could get around. I could do that with her. Now, I do have a couple of running guns. I am very much worried about the ethereal. Um, if he mind controls me, I really wish Jarek had gotten that shot off. And he can't, oh, he doesn't have vision. And neither does he. The guys in the back do. Well, that means that they can't see me either. I mean, they can see Jarek and company, but they're behind that cover. The ethereal is going to have to move to uh, to get shots off. I might just go on Overwatch this turn. Nah, I like my original plan. Let's let. Let's see if those um, those Mutant Elites won't come around. They'll probably just take pot shots at Jarek, but they're in high cover, so... Okay, he's moving. Can no longer see him. And he's moving up. Okay, good. That makes him easier to find. He's moving up, too. And he has sight. Okay, I missed. Good, good. Alright, now he's his cover's blown. That's fine. I wasn't going to use it this turn anyway. What have you got? You can see the ethereal. Put some, put some damage on it. Come on. Come on, Locke. Oh, drat. You can see both of them. really like to take him out. Come on, Jarek. There's some damage. Alright, let's put another one on him. Oh, can I not? Eh, it didn't work. I don't know why. Now, he can see... I could do a run and gun to here... Or there, probably still see. I'd have high cover, but I can only kill one. Um, I can do the same thing with Ash. I mean, I could gamble everything and just go for broke. She could get here and get a shot. Or uh, that thing might be in the way. Actually, she might not have. She she wouldn't have a good shot anyway. I could do a mind fray, perhaps. Okay. Now, I could I could run and gun in there. I could take out this Muton Elite with a uh, with a double tap. And then with Ash and Venera <clears throat> the um, the key is get he, they're going to have to take this guy out by themselves. All right, this is uh, this is nuts. 
I don't think they were on Overwatch, so. Okay. From the side. Go, baby, go. Rapid fire. 89. That's good. Get him. Come on. Put him away. One more. Yes. Eternally dead. Now. Venera. Get there. Out of curiosity. Oh. 0% <laughs> chance to mine fray. I'm not surprised. I could put a little damage on him. If I'm lucky. The rest is up to Ash. Yes. Good job. I could... He is really primed for another run and gun right in the face. Get right. It doesn't doesn't matter. If if this doesn't work, if I miss both times, I am so dead. Alright, I only need to hit once. Come on. Yes. Oh. Okay. What the did that actually do damage to me? <laughs> I guess not. Oh, and I got an achievement, and hell's coming with me. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. One squatty dead, but it was a red shirt. I don't feel too bad about that. Oh, man. Whew. What a mission. What a mission. So now I guess I get satellite coverage over everything, all over the place. engineers in there the whole time? Do I have a cadre of engineers on my ship going with me everywhere I go? Probably not. Recovered from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? An object of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. Oh god. XCOM a apocalypse. sentiment, doctor. Power. Unlimited power. Minutes. I mean minutes. Sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Oh, dear. Whoa. Hey, I'm panicking. I thought I had this under control. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Well, there was this one idea, but no. <laughs> Where are we going to get a golf club, a bag of ice, and a buffalo at this hour? Use the ethereal device. Poor Rosalia, we barely knew her. Venera got promoted. Hooray! You get Sprinter. She didn't get a psionic thing. But it was not good opportunities to use it. Um, opportunist or executioner? Opportunist. That's really good for those overwatches. And his aim's climbing. He's at 98. His will's pretty high too. I might need... Uh, I need to check him. His will is really high. And Bert, you're gravely wounded again, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. And Ethereal Autopsy. They got four arms. And stuff I can sell. Alloys, Sectopod Wreck ethereal device okay all right so let's just check real quick 
Now that we've backed the aliens into a corner, I think we'll see what they're really made of. Do we need to build Personally, anything? No. I expect nothing short of pure desperation in their resistance. They How do I connect with the... Fight. Do I go to research? Oh, I researched the device, of course. Well, while we're here... You know, EMP cannon, I'm never going to get you done. <laughs> I'm just not. Alright, I might as well get this done. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy, and for good reason. As you've probably seen, its physical form is not suited for combat by any means. However, these elders have an incredible pool of psionic energy at their disposal, which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. Mind Shield, available for manufacture. Oh, and I got another achievement. I guess for doing autopsies. Develop using cyber implants removed from the skull of the ethereal alien species. This device should allow for greater resistance to offensive psionic attacks. That is good, I suppose. I'm just never going to get that stupid EMP cannon built, so screw it. Not doing it. Could be risks involved in studying this new alien device, but the enemy leaves us with no other choice. Okay. Now, um, situation room, visit Grey Market, sell the junk, selling, and the rest we can keep. I could sell the ethereal corpse. I don't know why I would. Where is it? Oh, no, I used it. Complete the transaction. Okay, I need to get some more weapons and stuff for sure. Okay, all that's taken care of. Um, what's our event list look like? Ethereal device followed by council report and another round of psionic testing. Now, I think uh, we got to be coming up on the end game here pretty soon. I really, I want to get some more psionic abilities. That would be really cool if I could do that. I haven't really been encountering any um, missions besides uh, important UFO, like either humongous UFOs or, you know, I, I haven't seen an abduction mission or anything like that in a long time. But hey, can't complain too hard. All right. Well, that does it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Until then.